Good morning, hello, good day. Chronic Joy Tarot, doing a general weekly um, energy reading for the week of May 15th through May 21st. And happy post Mother's Day weekend to everyone. I hope you enjoyed your Sunday and that you're ready to see what's coming up for the week ahead. I'm gonna do this diamond spread with the Zen Tarot deck. This sort of represents kind of where we are now um, all the energies internal and external and then this represents sort of the road ahead for the week so this card is us oh I pulled this card called sorrow so let's pause for a second and sort of assess where we are um, this card is a mind card so what I'm gonna what I'm going to um, venture to guess is that some of us may be using our, you know, thought processes, our mind, our, uh, our worry, our regret. We're letting that sort of um, take over right now. Not, um, you know, it doesn't mean, oh, we're going to sink and we're going to be in depression this week. This just means to take, take a look at, you know, where you are now and how much of your mind is activated and how much are you going from your heart and soul it's a, it's an important um, sort of checkpoint I think to an opportunity to drop down into your heart this week if you feel you know worry or loss or grief you know be with it your feelings are valid your feelings are okay but also you know life is here now and that's there's a lot of other things to focus on uh, you know in each moment so we're going to find a, a nice blend between allowing our worry, regret, um, sorrow to be with us, but also see if we can move um, beyond it. And if you're not feeling this wonderful, um, I would take this reading as a, you know, sort of a, a um, have an awareness where this is around you, if others are feeling it. Um, if you, you know, have the potential to go there or if you just passed it. So just know sorrow is always part of our life and we're going to look and see how to deal with it now. The internal energy, the hidden energy that may not be seen but it is inside of us is the transformation card. So always, you know, we're always transforming, we're always shifting, we're always changing. And this powerful card, this energy inside um, you know, tells us that, that sorrow and sadness and, and some, sometimes thoughts of um, a negative nature are part of life and they help to change us. They are, um, you know, a val it's a valid feeling to be sad. It's valid. And in your um, external life, the way that these energies manifest is this master card. It's wonderful because what it's telling me is that you have the power to master the process. You know, when sadness comes, know, you know, that is, that's part of your life's journey and you can change and grow from it. And once you master that um, process or that part of your journey, you know, things flow much easier. And then you appreciate the good times. Okay, and remember that I, it's if you're not the one that's feeling this deep sadness, there may be someone around you who is, and just know they're gonna be okay. Know that it's what they need to go through in order to get to their desired outcome. Okay, and the way to do that, oh yes, hello, this is pretty, pretty perfect, going with the flow. I mean, just when I said this is part of life's process, you know, after feelings that are a little down, you'll feel up again. It's just part of the flow of life. It is part of the flow. And if you take a more removed, I wouldn't say um, disconnected stance, but more of a removed one, and just know that every one of us, even though we're interacting and we're in life together, every one of us has that ability and that power to see that life's flow is continuous it's okay it's okay and sorrow comes and goes okay 
And then the um, top message here, the um, apex of our reading for the week is beyond illusion. Okay, this is going to remind us that as much, just exactly kind of what I'm saying, as much as we can focus on something that's happening in our life and have a feeling about it and maybe get down about it, that is not, and it's just going to be kind of a stretch for some, but that's not reality. Your only reality lies deep within you. And if you can get to that place where you just know the way life flows is always going to serve you. It always will. Whether you're in a valley or a peak, you're always being served. And know that your true reality is deep within in that knowledge. Everything becomes a little easier. Things don't become as extreme. They're not, you don't get stuck as long as um, maybe you have in the past in any one feeling. So this is something to be aware of. It's not, um, you know, it's not a negative reading. I think it's just a reading to have an awareness of these sometimes low spots that we have. If you're not in one right now, that's fine, but maybe be that um, positive support for someone around you who is. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I will um, post another one next week. I'm thinking about maybe um, increasing the frequency of my readings, but I have a lot of other facets of my life that always um, sort of take precedence. So for now, I'll still do the weekly ones and then the monthly zodiacs. Okay. I hope you enjoy your week and I will talk to you next Monday. Bye.